know you're going to dig this. Huh, are you kidding? Stick my tongue to that stupid pole, that's dumb. That's because you know it'll stick. You're full of it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like double dog dare you. What's going on? Well, I told you I was going to come back. Well, not come back. I told you I was going to come and do the school from a Christmas story. So here I am. Did you watch part one of a Christmas story family locations? This is part two. This is St. Catharines, Ontario. It is very windy. The lake is right over there, so it's a little loud, a little windy. But here is the school that was used in the movie. And they shot the interiors and the exteriors here. And the pole scene where Flick licks the pole, right here. Then right here. Now, right out past this fence, it is a playground for kids. It is no longer a school, it is a shelter now. So, if you're gonna come out here, be wary of that, that it is private property. That's why I'm not going on to the property at all, just filming the school. But the pole would have been right here. We'll see those two trees. Because if you look in the movie, there's a fence here. pole here and this tree you can see in the background the school opened in 1912 and it closed in 2002 but right here a Christmas story and right look across the street right here you can see that house in the background that house looks a little different but you can definitely tell that that house is the same house from the background of the film. As all the kids are right here. And Flick, lick the pole right here. Now you might be saying, where's the pole? Why no pole? No pole because the pole was put there specifically for the movie. But this tree, it's the same tree. That's an old tree. I'm a treeologist, so I know trees and that's an old tree. If anyone knows trees, it's a guy like me. Freestyle. So yeah, that's a really old building as you can tell. And it's heavily guarded now, so, because it is a shelter. But right on the opposite side of this fence is a playground for the kids that are in the shelter. So it's kind of, it's a good place. It's a safe place. And a lot of history here. St. Catharines is an old city. St. Catharines is not too far from Toronto, from where I'm from. It's about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. But yeah, right here is where they film the Christmas story got friends waiting in the car because it is so cold they didn't want to come out into the cold and film with me ridiculous it's not that cold it is cold it's Ontario in the winter but I promised that I would come back and do it and I did when I come back I promised that I would come and do it so I did and I'm here I'm happy I am I have this is um, this is Niagara Street or Victoria yeah, this is Niagara Street so it's close to Niagara Falls and um, I've been up and down the street a million times before. Didn't really ever look at the school and think about it. I knew it was here, but it never crossed my mind. And as soon as I turned the corner, right up here to get off the highway, I knew exactly where it was. I was like, oh, it's right there. It's that old school. But I came here specifically, an hour and 10 minutes, driving just to make this video. So all the fans of A Christmas Story that wanted to see the second part that I promised, here it is. But yeah, they shot the interiors too here. All the interiors for the film in the school. So they were watching out one of those classroom windows. And the fire department came right here, then the police. Where's Flick? <laughs> None of the kids want to say, because Flick's tongue is stuck to a pole.
See that, that, that. All the same from the film. And they were looking out that window there, one of those windows there, down to here. Ah, Christmas in February. This is, what is this, February, what's the date today? 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th? I have no idea. Lots more videos coming from California and a couple from Vegas, a couple from Palm Springs, and then I start my next big road trip very soon. We're gonna announce that soon, where I'm going. Some people have kind of figured it out. It's a big one. So yeah, it was called Victoria Public School back in the day for the years that it was open. What was the name of the school in the movie? If you know the, if you know the answer, write it down in the comments because I don't remember. There it is. A Christmas Story School. Christmas in February. Uh-huh. 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 All right. That's it. Got to go. Go somewhere else for a bit. You'll see. More from Toronto. Always. Well, St. Catharines. It's a golden horseshoe. What's a golden horseshoe? It goes around the lake. I'll show you another shot of the school right here from the side. See? There it is. All right. Peace out from St. Catharines, Ontario. Christmas story right there. What? Yeah. I'm still here, walking back to my car. Hands frozen. Where are my gloves? I don't know. A lot of you look out for me and say, why don't I zip up my coat more? Why don't I wear a scarf? Why don't I wear gloves? I'm Canadian, I don't know. We just don't. So I said the video was over, the video is not over, because here I am in Chippewa, which is a little town, right, just kind of south of Niagara Falls. South of Niagara Falls. And the truck, the fire truck that you see in the scene is here. The original truck is right here in front of me. And this is Kenny. Yeah. And he's a volunteer fireman. I was, I retired now after 40 years. And he's gonna talk about the truck. I'll show you the truck, and then we're gonna talk about it. Look, it's right here. So we have our own little corner set up with the leg lamp that we uh, got in Cleveland. I got the leg lamp you. here? That's behind you. <laughs> That's crazy. And we did an article back in 2008, and that's when we got discovered, and we we're going to head to head to Cleveland for the uh, Christmas story. They do it every year, right? The guy, the guy bought the house. Uh, Brian bought the original house in Cleveland, opened it up as a museum, and then they have a uh, souvenir shop. So we took the truck. The first year we we floated it down to Cleveland. Two, year, two years later, we drove it down, and that was an ordeal, but anyways, we made it. This truck drove all the way? All the way to Cleveland. Wow. They wanted uh, uh, vehicles from the era from the Christmas story. Mm -hmm. So they found out that we had a 1938, uh, and, the, and they took the St. Catharines. Oh, so you, you had this truck beforehand. This, I, thought this, they don't, I thought you bought it afterwards. No, this is the original truck that the, the village of Chippewa had for their fire service. Wow. They bought it in 1938. And it stayed in service till 1967, where it went over to the Norton Company, and they used it as a, with their fire brigade in, at the Norton Company. And uh, 1980, we bought it back for a dollar. And know. we, through Ontario Grants, we refurbished it uh, to the state it is now. Wow, a dollar. Yeah, this is the truck. So you're, and you said that there's the, a truck on display in Cleveland and that's not the real truck. That's not the real truck. They, they, no, they bought it just to, 
Just to say that they have a fire truck there. Yeah. But this is a real one. Let's take a look inside. Wow. Where do you plug in the iPod? Hmm. I don't well. know if you can see those, but that's the original, that's the truck. Yeah. Back in the day, and we put it on the uh, monument out front. This picture here is engraved in the monument. Yeah. Does that truck look familiar? So this truck has been here a long time. So the past couple of years, we've been involved with the fire department in North Tonawanda, Sweeney Hose. And there's a gentleman there that's a fanatic of the Christmas story. Right. And they brought all the cast members up to uh, North Tonawanda, to the Riviera Theater, did a viewing of the Christmas story. We take the truck over, give rides to the kids. That's so cool. On, on, on the truck. We had Santa Claus on the, on the truck. Um, and then last year, Ian Petrillo, that played Ralphie's brother, is involved in Syracuse, New York. He hooked up with this gentleman here, the Rod Fathers, mm -hmm. and they did a barbecue rub uh, honoring the volunteer firefighters. And they have our our fire truck on the on the label. Oh, really? Of, of the of the rub. That's so cool. So. It's, it's crazy how the movie lives on. Do you get people coming by for this a lot? Yeah, we've had, uh, like, we advertise on our, our website, Firefighter website. Anybody interested, come Sunday mornings, uh, 10 o'clock, the guys are here checking, doing equipment checks, and everybody's welcome to come in and have a look at the truck. And so. And there it is, right in the background. It's only, is it only in the one shot in the movie? Yep. It's only in the one shot. Only, only yeah. uh, three seconds, but if you stop the movie, like when the fire truck comes up to uh, rescue uh, Flick on the flagpole. Right. Uh, if you freeze it, you'll see our logo in the movie. And you see and the Chippewa logo? And then it goes ahead and parks in front of the pole. Yeah. But if you freeze frame it, at that certain time, you'll see that logo on the... Uh, right. That's why... People contest whether that's the original truck or not. Well, well freeze frame it, it and look at the logo, right? Yeah. I'll do that. I'll, sque I'll squeeze in on the logo. Oh, wow. It's really awesome. This is Kenny. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you for bringing me in. You're welcome, sir. All right. All right, just when I thought the video was over, got a little better. Showing you the fire truck from a Christmas story, the original fire truck right behind me. That's it. I think. Yeah, that's it. Peace out.